I'm Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on sketching angles. We are talking about reflex angles in this particular video. And as you know, a reflex angle is an angle which is greater than 180 degrees. So angles greater than 180 degrees are called reflex angles. What we really mean is 180 degrees is a straight line, correct? So that is 180 degrees. So if something is greater than this, then it is a reflex angle. Right? So that becomes a reflex angle greater than 180 degrees. So 180 degrees is a straight line. So let me just uh, sketch a straight line here. So that straight line gives you 180 degrees for any particular point. Correct? Now the question is, how to draw angles greater than 180 degrees using a protractor? The idea is it is from 0 to 180 degrees, right? Or from either way, it's just 180 degrees. So we do not have a circular protector with us. And we need to draw 180 degrees with this D, right? And here are two examples for you. So we'll show you how to draw 220 degrees and also 300 degrees using this protector. Well... What we could do here is, this particular figure gives us an idea. Since the angle is more than 180 degrees, it, this line is going to be in the lower half. So we'll not begin here, rather we'll actually place it upside down. So if I place it upside down, I can actually sketch 180 degrees using this particular protractor, right? So let's see how. So now what we are going to do here is we'll draw a horizontal line slightly above. So let's say say this becomes our horizontal line, right? And let this be the point O where the angle will have the vertex. And we want 220 degrees. So what is 220 degrees? Well, 220 degrees, if I take away 180 degrees, what do I get? I get 12 minus 8 as 4, 40 degrees. That means I have to draw 40 degrees more. So if I have this as 40 degrees and this is 180, total will be 220 degrees. So that is the idea. So I hope you understand and appreciate our idea, right? And that is how you're going to do it. So put your protector upside down as we did here and place this line on the line which you've drawn that gives you 180 degrees and in addition to that we need 40 degrees right so 0 to 40 right so that is what we need so if i connect these points what i get is basically 220 degrees correct so let me just connect them so what we have here is this particular angle which for us is 220 degrees does make sense to you right so again 220 degrees is what so we know 220 degrees is basically equal to 180 degrees plus 40 degrees correct so that is how you get 220 degrees so we did 180 which is a straight line and 40 more right so we get 40 plus this 180 degrees to give 220 degrees Perfect. So I hope the concept is clear. So if I mark a point on the initial arm as A and we have O here and let this point be B, then we know that the angle AOB is equal to 220 degrees. Perfect. Now, using this concept, I would like you to draw 300 degrees. Perfect. So take your time you need to place your protector right like this right and then draw 330 degrees if the angles are bigger than 270 when well, no, this is 270 correct so here it is 270 degrees we are looking for 300 which is kind of somewhere on this side so what we could do here is that one full circle is 360 right we know that the one full circle is 360 right if you go back it'll be 360 degrees but we need 
300. So if I take away 300, what I get here is 60 degrees. So if I get from here 60 degrees, that is minus 60 degrees, from 360, I make 300 degrees. So that is how I'm going to do it. So I'll again place my protector right there. Do you see that? Right. So we just place it right there and mark 60 degrees from this side. So that is 60 degrees. Connecting this point, what do we get? So if I connect this point, I get an angle. This angle, which we're talking about, is 300 degrees. Since it is 60 less, let me just extend this line. Since it is 60 less than 360, you get an idea, right? So, so that is how we will sketch 360 degrees. Perfect. So to sketch 360 degrees, you could actually take away the number from 360. And that much less will give you 300 degrees. So I hope the concept is clear. So whenever you're talking about a reflex angle, the key is use your protector upside down. So we already have 180 degrees with us and rest of the angles are given there on the protector. So that is the other half of your circle, which you are looking for, right? So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if I hope you like and subscribe to my videos. Thanks for your time and all the best.